man did I hate this one as a kid. It still sucks just as much today. Today let's check out Tailspin, released in 1991 for the NES. Now, first and foremost, just glance at the gameplay in Tailspin for a second. Just glance. Now, go ahead and check out games that came previously, like Gunnack, R-Type, and Legendary Wings that blow this out of the water, not to mention the amazing game Life Force. Tailspin really falls flat when it comes to the one main issue in the game. You can only shoot one bullet at a time. It's really surprising this game is as bad as it is considering it was made by Capcom for the NES in the era of awesome Capcom games for the NES, like DuckTales, Rescue Rangers, Darkwing Duck, even The Little Mermaid is better than this. Now if it's not bad enough that you shoot one bullet at a time, the bullet is slow, like it's trapped underwater slow. Also, you move like a sloth, this is a shooter, like come on. But I understand it's a kid's game, and I get what they're going for, that's fine, but if it's such a kid's game, the main gimmick they try in the game, which you switch angles in the air so you can switch from right scrolling to left scrolling, you will go at that angle, making it even harder. Half the time, more than half the time, you get killed just getting trapped between objects. It's bullshit. So if this is intended for children, most definitely the only thing kids are going to do is probably speak their first obscenity while playing this game. At least back in the day. Kids wouldn't even give this the time of day nowadays. This game is just garbage. I know, Capcom, I want to have your back on this. Not any time with anything you've done recently, but for this era, I loved Capcom. And this is just a disappointing game. Now, this crap game has nothing to do with how I feel about the actual cartoon Tailspin. It's quite the contrary. When I was a kid, I loved Tailspin and I'd never miss an episode on the Disney afternoon. Even holds up quite well today. It was intended for older kids, and sometimes the story was actually really good. If you've never seen Tailspin, I suggest you check it out. It's quite worth it. Of all the Disney games I had as a kid, I had Tailspin and I had Mickey Mouse Capade. I only ever got to rent games like Darkwing Duck or DuckTales, but these were the two I always had at my side, and they always pissed me off, and they still piss me off to this day. If you're brave, go for it. You're just going to end up getting angry. But well, have at it. The Tailspin license was actually all over the place for retro games. It was featured on the Game Boy, the Game Gear, the Sega Genesis, and the Turbo Graphics to go along with the NES. I've never actually played any of the other versions, however, I've heard none of them are any good. But that's for me to decide, I guess. Maybe I'll tackle those one day here on Hibiki Quickie. But until then, thanks for checking out Tailspin. Hey, if you like this game, to each their own, but this is just a game that is frustrating. Not even the music for a Disney Capcom game is really any good, honestly, in this game. It's very repetitive and very boring. So thanks again for taking a look at Tailspin for the NES. Check out Hibiki Quickie next time where we're going to tackle the Sega Saturn. Hey, 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 what is going on?